how did the boys behind one of the world's biggest YouTube collective manage to rake it in big time? Yo, what's up? It's your girl, Bola Sol, and this is the story of the Sidemen. In 2005, Simon met JJ, also known as KSI. The two made friends with Josh, who had gone to school with Toby. Then all four boys invited Ethan to the group after watching one of his streams. Along comes Vic in 2012. And in 2013, the ultimate Sidemen were born, Harry joined in 2014 and within seven years, they had over 123 million subscribers and the channel said to be worth over 10 million pounds. And their clothing line pulls in about 1.5 million to 2 million in sales per year. The Sidemen were clever in getting themselves in front of the camera, working hard and taking a risk. In 2014, four of the Sidemen moved into a house in South London, which they refer to as the Sidemen House. The house was reported to be about £3,000 per month rent. Now we all know rent isn't cheap, so pooling that money together in your early 20s is pretty smart. Living together made it easier to collaborate regularly. They built their expertise and their DIY production skills, which can often be a gruelling schedule. Evolving the smart way. So KSI's parents were pretty annoyed that he didn't go to university. Luckily, KSI became the superstar of the group. He built something incredible, and even without getting the cap and gown picture, he made his mum and dad proud. Oh. Ideas equal money. From making videos raging at FIFA in his bedroom to becoming a multi-millionaire in his 20s, he is said to have a staggering net worth of 16 million pounds. Oh. The truth is, he made some serious moves to create a blueprint of making money that many others are now following. In true millennial fashion, when it got boring, he moved on to the next gig and took his audience with him. Being a YouTube celebrity meant KSI could break into amateur boxing and made almost £700,000 in his fight with Logan Paul, which allegedly brought in 17 million views. High risk. A life online can be fragile. You can be one post or comment away from being shut down. PewDiePie is the world's biggest YouTuber and was even named by Time Magazine as one of the world's most influential people. But all that attention can cause you real problems and a series of controversial videos meant that he lost lucrative deals with Disney and even YouTube dropped him from one of their major advertising deals at the time. Being popular can destroy you far quicker than it can make you. Saying harmful stuff comes with real consequences, including your income ending. So think wisely about how you put yourself out there. Invest your savings. Only put in what you can afford to lose with investing. KSI revealed that he owned 12 flats and houses in affluent neighborhoods and was sitting on a 10 million pound property empire. Whilst property may be working well for KSI, investing doesn't always go to plan. KSI reportedly lost millions to cryptocurrency last year. Despite raking it in, even the side men can run the risk of losing it all. Here is a reminder of how they did it. When it comes to making your money, only you can build the blueprint that works for you and allows you to evolve. KSI used his personality and his unstoppable nature to build his dreams. We see content creators with the best equipment, but you can keep it simple by using the phone in your pocket. The Sidemen worked hard to turn their ideas into money using what they had. If you're making money from your audience, be careful of how you put yourself out into the world. Saying harmful stuff comes with real consequences, including your income ending. KSI got on the property ladder at a young age. As a first time buyer, if you're between 18 to 40 years old, you can look into the lifetime ISA where you can add up to 4,000 pounds a year and the government will add up to 1,000 in savings. Being a YouTuber can be hard work and not everyone finds success like the Sidemen. But if you're organized and plan your moves wisely, you have every chance of raking it in big time. Thank <laughs> you.